Right fellas, Gabriel from sporicdermatitis.net and what I want to talk about in this video is um, are carbs causing your your eczema or your seboric dermatitis um, and what you need to know about them essentially. So to answer that straight up, um, the answer if I have to say yes or no is, is no, they're not um, causing your eczema or your seboric dermatitis in the vast majority of cases. So um, what, tends, what tends to be happening um, when consuming sort of carbs and protein and fats, um, the general kind of way of, of, of eating, you tend to either go for a higher carb, um, lower fat, or a higher fat, lower carb diet. And the reason you don't tend to stick to high fat, high carb is because, for example, say you had high sugar and high fat, um, that tends to clog up the cell walls. So um, once that clogs up, um, it stops the fats, um, it stops sugar, um, sugar starts getting stuck in the walls basically, um, and causes candida growth. So that's something you want to avoid straight up. Um, so with so, so with with that in mind, you, you going from kind of high carb, low fat. Um, people often say um, that carbs are bad. I'll probably put weight on. I'll probably um, not in terms of looking fit and, and keeping healthy. In terms of the weight, people often struggle to um, kind of accept that and. Um, think that they won't look physically the best. Um, so what, what tends to happen with higher carb diets, um, so assuming these are clean, um, healthy carbs sources, so things like brown rice, um, sweet potato, um, oats, um, is initially if you, and also all fruits and, and um, vegetable sources as well, um, when, you, when you initially um, increase your carbs, you tend, people tend to gain a bit of water weight. Um, they tend to start feeling better though, um, because they've got more energy. So, having more energy um, from carbs, it's best to make sure you you're pretty active if you're going to have higher carbs, because you want to make sure that you're you're burning them off, and you're not, um, you know, you're remaining active and healthy. Um, so, really. Um, what people tend to see when they reduce their carbs and go on these kind of diets is initially yes you will you will um you'll see some weight loss if you initially just have a have your regular diet and you cut your carbs you are going to get lighter um initially but generally people find it harder to sustain to keep that the kind of mental focus their overall sort of um health just as you know some people don't which is fine but just as a as a general sort of guidance a lot of people do struggle to to keep um as focused in work um just when they're reading when they're doing other things on, on lower carb diets so but that being said um with things like the keto diet so when you go high fat low carb um what tends to happen there is people do tend to see more weight loss and you know the main reason that is because if you go very low carb you go into the state of ketosis which is where you get like the keto diet so your body um, you burns uh, ketones so burn your body's main source of uh, fuel is fats so ketones um, so that is a, is, a, is a lot more um, generally seen as a lot more um, straightforward for burning fat and that's why a lot of people lose weight on the diet I mean I've tried it in the past and I remember you know lot, I lost he was losing quite a lot of fat and um, sort of getting lean I was just sort of testing things out um, years ago but I just did it to try it and it did it did for me you know I found I lost quite a lot of fat um, but it, for me it wasn't that sustainable, I wasn't as, I was struggling with the um, attention and work, 
and the um, I wasn't as focused on, on anything I was trying to focus on basically. So I prefer personally a higher carb diet with made from clean sources and lower fat. Um, and yeah, so that's that's kind of what I wanted to say there. And um, so that carbs aren't the enemy. Um, you can use them. You can use them carefully. And um, yeah, I think that's. And in terms of your skin, they're not really um, like the enemy for for your skin, basically. So um, yeah, the other th thing just to note is that fats are generally difficult for the body to digest. Um, so, because oils create um, insulin sensitivity, but what well, the bad for insulin sensitivity, sorry, and don't take the amount of uh, the right amount of insulin. That was what that would happen if you if it, if it skews that, um, and obviously you want your body to take the right amount of insulin. So um, that's why you, you know you, that's kind of a little bit negative for fats really. But overall, um, one of the, remember the key th key takeaways are stick to one or the other. You know, go a bit higher carb, go higher carb, low fat, or low fat, high carb. Um, to to generally get the kind of best results on a, on a following a kind of diet plan. So I hope that was useful, and uh, just wanted to um, you know to to put that across, and uh, yeah, please. Check the subscribe and uh, hope it out.